And we know there's a septic tank that's present. We're going to be doing the very basic level test with every home inspection that we do. That's operation of the drain system. And if we know that there's a septic tank present, we're going to actually run a little bit more water than normal through the drain piping to make sure that everything drains okay and to make sure that nothing backs up. If something backs up, we either have an issue with the waste piping or we have an issue with the septic tank. Uh, but specifically with septic tank testing, we need to know that we can run a lot of water through that tank and nothing starts to back up into the basement like we have here <laughs> uh, this is a house that does have a septic tank and I've operated a couple of bathrooms upstairs um, there are two bathrooms upstairs and a kitchen I operated those first uh, came downstairs to check the basement and ran across the water now where the water is coming from is this shower stall you can see the water standing in the bottom of that shower stall this is our lowest fixture and you can <laughs> Notice that it's not draining down whatsoever. Uh, so the very rudimentary test of just operating the drain piping has revealed a potential issue with possibly the septic tank. It could possibly be some of this cast iron piping too. But this is a good example of what we're looking for with, uh, I call it a load test. We're putting, generally when I say load test, we're gonna run probably about 100 gallons through the drain piping. So with our basic load test, this is probably the main thing we're looking for. Does everything drain as it should? And does anything back up? If something backs up, we've got, we've got bigger problems.